Hello everyone. Welcome to Resident Evil 2 Remake. I'm your host, Odar Jackal. And uh, this will be my first Let's Play. I uh, chose Resident Evil 2 because there's another YouTube channel that started on Resident Evil 2 as well. Uh, they played the PS1 version though, rather than the new version. But I felt like it's almost like an homage, sort of a uh, paying tribute, if you will, to a uh, well-respected YouTuber. Anybody who knows what I'm talking about, that can be a little secret between us. And uh, I'm sure you'll let everybody else know in the comment section. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's get started. I haven't played the full game. Probably since, um, since it came out on the PlayStation 1, actually. So, you'll have to forgive me if at certain parts I just completely forget where I'm going or what I'm doing. Or if I s say something that's wrong about what we're actually meant to be doing. I haven't played it for, like I said, probably gone about 20 years now. Since the game came out, anyway. And, uh, hopefully we'll have some fun. I believe you, Just tell us a story, tell us a story. Okay, well, it was last Friday night, I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on her. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes. Her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse. Like a walking corpse, man. <laughs> Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, they'll sink to teeth in you. Oh. I should attack somebody. Oh, come on. Just getting good. Here comes our hero, cool as ever. Not as cool as he will be two games from now. But still cool. I'm gonna try and not talk during the cutscenes whenever I know people are talking. Just so you guys can get the full effect. Let the drama sink in. No one's around? Alright, here we go. Look how pretty this game is, guys. They definitely um, put their all into this. I'm so happy that Capcom's finally rising from the ashes of, you know, 
the trash that they've been putting out towards the end with the uh, other Resident Evil games, you know, 5, 6, uh, Marvel Infinite. But I feel like we've got a nice fresh start. T-Virus has been injected into Capcom. They're rising stronger than ever before. Fitting, I suppose. So let's enter Ms. Oil. Apparently, ladies and gentlemen, WWE superstar The Miz has his own oil company. I mean, when you have money, you gotta put it in other places so you can make more money. Money makes money, guys. Hello? Anybody there? Hmm. Something's not right. No one never noticed. Sorry, we'll get to that. Scary noise. Ah. I never noticed there that it says herb ice cream and that herbs heal you. And it has the different colours of the herbs. That's actually a really nice touch that I never noticed before. But uh, yeah, let's go and see what's going on then, guys, shall we? You alright? Don't move. I'll be back for you. I love the way that he hasn't even got words. He's just like, just go, man. Just go and sort. Just please go. Alright, let's see what's going on then, shall we? Stop moving. Officer, you need help? Uh, stay back, sir. I got this. Uh, uh, hey, get off this. Stop right now. I love the way that every cop, that your first instinct is to arrest them, like, Hey, buddy, you're not looking so good. You look like you on the, uh, the, the methamphetamine. I'm gonna need you to back down and stop trying to bite me, yeah? Oh, jeez. Okay. I think you're done for, really, aren't you? Yeah, you're done. Sorry, buddy. I shouldn't have distracted you. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. Nah, there's no labels on these things. Okay, let's grab the key. Chuck it by there. Open inventory. Our friend there's gonna get back up. We're just gonna completely ignore him and not waste the ammo. Use the key. Oh, jeez. Excuse me. Oh, excuse me too. Uh, let's get out of here. Don't shoot. Get down. Oh yeah, I wish it was easy, that easy for me. One bullet. You all right? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. You can thank me later, when we're safe. Holy shit. Look how young these guys look. They both look like they're like 18. They look like teens in some horror movie. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's what they were going for, but... some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. My sis- my sister? My brother punches the boulders. <laughs> no. <laughs> Looking for my brother. He's a cop too. Did I mention he punches well, boulders? It's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. We'll get to that eventually though. Alright, we got an opening cutscene. 
Like I said, I am a casual fan of the series. Hence the boulder punching reference. My favourite, probably Resident Evil 4. Just, um... I know that's probably the point where it stopped being so much about horror and more about action. But it's still definitely my favourite one. I just, I don't know, it's just so enjoyable for me to go through the entire game. Like, in terms of the horror ones, I'd say this one probably, Resident Evil 2, is probably my favourite one. But, of all, I would say that RE4 is probably my favourite Resident Evil game. But I'm definitely glad that they're injecting new life via uh, unsanctioned Geneva Convention breaking means. Attention all citizens. Due to the citywide outbreak, you are advised to take shelter at the Raccoon City Police Station. Free food and medical supplies will be provided to everyone in need. Oh my god, this is so unreal. The police station is not much farther. They'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Looks like we're walking from here. have all the time in the world to back up right now. Holy shit. There, get out. Get out now! Nice kicks, man. Oh, no. oh yes. Oh, dude, that is internal bruising. At the very least. Oh, my skeleton. Claire, you okay? Sorry, I can't help you out. All these guys. You just, what are you looking at, buddy? Who knows? I ain't gonna stick around and find out. Some of these guys are just staring off into space. Shit. It's everybody. Oh, jeez. Well, yeah. That's how diseases work. They're not polite about it, Leon. There it is. The station. They probably had some sort of, like, big thing about how they didn't want to stay indoors, which made everything worse. Oh, jeez. You get it, buddy? Ooh. I'm just gonna squeeze past you guys. No lunch for you. rain effects man on this guy that's not bad that's definitely not bad fire effects We're looking a little bit 2d from here but acceptable 
definitely glad that they've decided to, you know, pay respect. Did I just teleport through there? Okay. Hello? Is anybody here? You know, first aid spray that I'm not gonna use. I ain't, I ain't no fool. I ain't using no first aid spray. You take me for. Right. Uh, don't want to save. Wait. I thought I was using the box. Yeah. Okay. Store you because we're not using first aid sprays because they are for losers. There has to be someone here. You don't say. Did my objective show up on here? No. Don't want here neither. Investigate these side. Yeah, I get my objectives on the map screen. Okay. So every time that I need to... I'm just going to go up here a second and grab the bullets. I believe... At the end of here, there's some more rounds. Not that I'm going to need them for now anyway. But, you know, better to save time now. Oh, that reflection effect on his coat. That's really good. Props. Props for the, uh, for the lighting guys in this game. 120%. Look at all that. I mean, over there looks a little bit rough, but... Just to prove that I'm wrong, I guess. And make myself look dumb in front of all of you guys. But, you know. Overall. Alright, let's go. Oh, jeez. It's jam, guys. It's all jam. They just like- they, they love to make this strawberry and cherry jam over at this station, okay? They make their own donuts. It's a great time. I can't explain the water though, sorry. Alright then. Thank you for that. You got this. Yeah, I do. Thanks, Leon. It's always good when your protagonist gives you a little morale boost, you know? Gives you some words of wisdom. Switch this light on. Get ourselves going. Rooms over here. I believe this one? Yeah. Has a first aid spray that we're also not going to be using. But I'm just collecting it to prove to you guys that I did see it. If I don't see stuff, you're probably going to yell, and understandably so. Jesus. Feel free. Uh, I do record these in sets of three, though, for the Open most up. part. Hurry. Open up. So if I don't Open immediately respond, That'll be why. I'll get you out. Please, come here, help me. I got you. Give me your other hand.
That is rough. And it was his last day on the foot. Nah, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Officer's notebook. Statue. Three medallions. Leads to some sort of secret passageway. Leads down to some secret place. Leads to either an elevator or a... Or a ladder. That leads to the parking lot, which is the way out. And as you can see by the ink that's gone through the page... These are the codes for the three statues that are holding the medallions for the goddess statue. Oh, I almost forgot about you. Come on, do the thing. Bye. Well, if you look cool, I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna leave. Sorry if that's embarrassing for you. I'm coming. Jesus. Two of you. Come on in, guys. You coming in? Come on. Oh, jeez. Wait, did one of them just walk past? Are you gonna struggle in now? Oh. Don't do that. Can we bob and weave? Can we bob and weave? Yes, we can. Nice. Professional. Oh, jeez. That got me! <laughs> you didn't see, but I jumped super hard then. Come on. How did I forget that he was there? Welcome to Raccoon City, fool! Oh! You're safe. For now. Thanks. It's our best boy. Marvin Brana. Brana. Leon Kennedy. There was another off strike. I couldn't. I couldn't. Good old Marv. Yeah. Look at that. He's all beat up and he's offering me his hand, even though he might, like, <clears throat> fart his guts out on the way up. I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. Does anyone know what started this? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. You got... yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week and I got a call to stay Duct away. tape on his wound? I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie! You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, Fuck her. you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out. Or you run. Got it? It's pretty much survival horror. Yes, sir. In a nutshell. <laughs> you take it out, or you run away. As you saw from Ailey, I'm gonna mostly be bobbing and weaving. I'll take out ones that I have to, obviously, in areas where I'm gonna be coming and going. But... Let's put you here. Yeah, that'll do. But... I'm gonna be trying to save ammo where I can for the important areas where I'm going to be coming and going quite a lot and it's going to be hard for me to squeeze through them. Right. Let's move you away because you suck. Let's throw you away because you are worthless. As you can see there's a little red tick 
in the bottom right hand corner which means it's saved its purpose there's no other doors that you can use it on which is handy because it means and it doesn't drop it on the floor and we have limited space at least for now i believe there are pouches you can collect throughout the game but we haven't got any of those as of yet so we need to be managing our space as much as we can it which is very survival horror you know limited space limited ammo deciding whether it's best to run or hide that sort of thing it's what i love about the genre so much to be honest with you but uh i think we're gonna leave it there for now guys so uh i hope you enjoyed the video i'm just gonna save by here now uh and if you did, I hope that I'm going to see you next time and for the foreseeable future as well. So um, until next time, guys, uh, I'll see you around.